Amina was a Hausa Muslim historical figure in the city-state Zaza, now city called Zaria, in Kaduna State, in what is now in the northwest region of Nigeria. She might have ruled in the mid-16th century. A controversial figure whose existence has been questioned by some historians, her real biography has been somewhat obscured by subsequent legends and folk tales. Amina was born in the middle of the 16th century CE to King Nikita, the 22nd ruler of Zaza, and Queen Bakwa Turunku. She had a younger sister named Zaria, for whom the modern city of Zaria Kaduna State was renamed after by the British in the early 20th century. According to oral legends collected by anthropologist David E. Jones, Amina grew up in her grandfather's court and was favored by him. He carried her around court and instructed her carefully in political and military matters. At age 16, Amina was named Magajia meaning heir apparent, and was given 40 female slaves. From an early age, Amina had a number of suitors attempt to marry her. After the death of her parents in or around 1566, Amina's brother became king of Zaza. At this point, Amina had distinguished herself as a leading warrior in her brother's cavalry and gained notoriety for her military skills. She is still celebrated today in traditional Hausa praise songs as Amina daughter of Nikita, a woman as capable as a man that was able to lead men to war. After the death of her brother Karami in 1576, Amina ascended to the position of queen. Zaza was one of the original seven house estates. The others being Dora, Kano, Gobir, Katsina, Reno, and Garen Gabas. Before Amina assumed the throne, Zaza was one of the largest of these states. It was also the primary source of slaves that would be sold at the slave markets of Kano and Katsina by Arab merchants. Only three months after being crowned queen, Amina waged a 34-year campaign against her neighbors to expand Zaza territory. Her army, consisting of 20,000 foot soldiers and 1,000 cavalry troops, was well-trained and fearsome. In fact, one of her first announcements to her people was a call for them to resharpen their weapons. She conquered large tracts of land as far as Kwararafa and Noop. Legends cited by Sidney John Hogben says that she took a new lover in every town she went through, each of whom was said to meet the same unfortunate fate. In the morning, her brief bridegroom was beheaded so that none should live to tell the tale. Under Amina, Zaza controlled more territory than ever before. To mark and protect her new lands, Amina had her cities surrounded by earthen walls. These walls became a common place across the nation until the British conquest of Zaza in 1904 and many of them known today as Ganyawar Amina aka Amina's Walls. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to this channel, you're so much welcome to this channel where you learn interesting historical arts and cultural history. Thanks for joining us. Please like, comment your thoughts, subscribe and share our content if you're enjoying it. Here are some modern depictions of Amina. The Queen Amina statue at the National Arts Theater in Lagos State honors her and multiple educational institutions bear her name. Amina is the protagonist of the historical fantasy novel Queen of Zaza, 2018, by J.S. M. Wackber, based on her life beginning in 1557 CE. Amina is the inspiration for the character Malika in the graphic novel Malika Warrior Queen, 2017, by Roy O'Keefe as stated in the coloring book also created by the author. In education, the fifth episode of the Small Axe films by Steve McQueen, 12-year-old Kingsley Smith triumphantly reads aloud the story of Amina to his family, after having learnt to read.
In the video game Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition Queen Amina appears as the leader of the Hausa civilization. Amina appears as the leader of Zaza in 1444, well before her lifetime, in Europa Universalis IV. She is also a general, which female rulers typically cannot be in the game, and has very good stats. The 2021 film Amina depicts her rise to the throne. It is directed by Aizuo Jukwu. More recent oral tradition has a series of lively stories about the queen, and these have found their way into popular culture. Among them were Amina was a fierce warrior and loved fighting. As a child, her grandmother Marka, the favorite wife of her grandfather Sarkin Nohir, once caught her holding a dagger. Amina holding the dagger did not shock Marka, rather it was that Amina held it exactly as a warrior would. As an adult, she refused to marry for the fear of losing power. She helped Zaza, Zaria, become the center of trade and to gain more land. Her mother, Bakwa, died when Amina was 36 years old, leaving her to rule over Zaria. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.